Father Jim Chambers, uh, missionary of Lady Mary Maglet. I now am based in Washington, D.C. after doing four years in, in Zambia in the missions there. Uh, my last position was at working at DMDC, a development center in Mongu, in the western province of Zambia. And the unique approach that we were trying to create markets for the farmers uh, was a different way of, instead of trying to give things to people, we're trying to help people take a step up by IE creating markets. Uh, so it was mainly with rice. We had started a project and I was able to build upon it were that we were buying rice from, from the small scale farmers at, at a decent price. We would polish it and then we would take it to Osaka and we were able to get into local grocery stores called Spar in that area and we were doing pretty good with that. Uh, that was also helped with, with some government grants that we had gotten from USAID and, and, and things along those lines. But also the other aspect, and it was cooperating with the government also in the agricultural thing of creating cooperatives. Actually, first we were trying to create farmers groups where the farmers could get together and market their products together, i.e. to us as one group. And then hopefully what we were wanting to do is that they would then become cooperatives down the road, more than one farmers groups, where they, they would actually end up doing some of the polishing and, and adding value to the rice or whatever other products that they were doing and then we would end up doing the marketing side only. And so the whole idea is to find creative ways of helping the farmers get more for their thing. And, 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 and we believe that if we can help people with their material needs that then we can also then also just talk about their spiritual needs. And I think it's kind of hard to talk to people about God's love when they're hungry when they're isolated, when they feel that the world is against them. Huh? It's easier to talk to somebody after you've journeyed with them a little bit. And I think that that's part of what we've done. We've journeyed with them by helping them with their material needs and showing that, we do, that they have a dignity and a concern. <laughs>